anyway, Kay's cooking tried out two vegan recipes in a row. Finally, my prayers, my prayers have been answered. I, and, uh, I guess uh, I'm obligated to at least try one of these, right? I know I, I, I threaten to a lot. I threaten, oh, I'm going to make this one. Maybe I'll actually have to do it with one of these. Um, let's hope that uh, she gives uh, veganism a good name here and uh, doesn't just uh, turn everyone away from it. Two. Two in a row. You ready? We got a vegan meal. Let's see what that is about. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing a vegan meal. Is it? Right, as you can <coughs> see, or you probably can't see. Plant based I have got and soya sausages. Now, that, that just means soy, right? For some reason, they call it soya over there. Some vegan. <laughs> Wonderfully succulent. <laughs> I kind of what you know about sausages. Huh? They are oh, they are soya. It actually says so I'll take the lid out. Uh, some are these some breakfast sausages? Can you see that? Right, that is what I'm cooking. It says oh, What's it? Morning, oh you just stop being silly. Oh my god, can we at least separate them a little bit? And what I'm going to do is... They look uh, like mini versions of the um, Beyond sausages. What, there's One of the brands makes, makes breakfast sausages too, which I haven't tried yet. Separate them all. You're saying ew? You're saying ew? At least it's not, at least it's not a bunch of meat stuffed in intestines, am I right? <laughs> no, it does look... Uh, it says this. Looks like some pickled weenies or something, you know? Eight in the pack. And there is. Because I have had things saying that the eight in a pack and it turned out they've only been six. Oh so my there, god. I've got them. I'm going to cook them slowly because I don't want them to burn. Adult so sized Vienna sausages. Define adult size. Cook them. I've got them on number <laughs> four. And they no, are no, not ribs. Slowly, you <laughs> have to put them into a, a cold pan. Okay, that that one does look a little sus. You're right about that. But when yeah, I'd say they're average. I say they're average size. Pan gets <laughs> I don't know. Going, you guys don't. I shall be putting vegan bacon in. It doesn't look very nice, really. It looks like it's been, as I would say, shot at and missed. But that one. Shot at and missed? Is that. <laughs> What, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, actually, the light life bacon's real good. It's very hard to separate. The if you get the light life bacon, you got to take like a butter knife and really just kind of like fillet it off of there very carefully. But once you do, it's actually a real nice, uh, real nice strip of bacon right there. The light life ones. That is what I will. Lee later can't taste the meat. <laughs> yeah. We'll be putting in next. Bacon. Right, the sausages, as you can see. Oh, the. I didn't think there was skin on. Uh, There's skin on them, kind of. So it doesn't really hold up, but I'm taking these there. out, and like, like you say, as I, like I just S said, sausages. I can see <laughs> skin falling off them. They're done. What I didn't tell you before is I've got some. They're not done, sure. Uh, they look, they look done. And I, I mean, like if it was, if it was like. If it was like meat, I might be a little concerned, but like for these ones, it's like, what's the worst going to happen? Potatoes you know? <laughs> boiling. So I'm going to put these bacon strips in. Rashers, they call them over there, they I guess. Like they've already been partly cooked. The thing is with a lot of like, um, maybe not, not so much for like the sausages maybe, but for like a lot of vegan stuff, you, I find you have to like add oil to it, which you obviously don't have to do if you're like cooking meat. Like if you got like the Gardein brand ground beef, if you're making like tacos or something, first of all, obviously you're going to need a packet of seasoning or something like that. But, uh, I find if you're like, like whatever the pack, the, the frozen bag of the ground beef, I find I have to like fucking dump oil into it. To make it like actually act like beef. I don't know if they're trying to be healthy about it or whatever. Um, or, but so if I can pick them up, vegan I symbols get somewhere. <laughs> so that's one there. Interesting that they went with like the uh, the coloring. 
Uh, to make it look like there's like fat on it. Looks like bagging strips. Yes, I think that's why that's why like the other brands don't bother putting the coloring on it. Looks a lot like a dog treat, doesn't it? Cooking, they actually shrink. I have to. Like, you don't have to trick me. I know it's not really. <laughs> I've had these before, these, these before. And tell you, I couldn't tell anything. Strawberry shortcake to see it. These, that, this bacon and ordinary bacon, and same with the sausages. I couldn't tell the difference. That's a, that's a big win for veganism right there. Okay. Oh, we're having. We're having a, a an English breakfast ish, I guess. Throw slap some beans on those sausages and bacon, and uh, a boiled potato on the side. We're good to go. Uh, I know I didn't show you me putting it in the pan, the bacon in the pan. Oh, you know what I should do? I should do full vegan, full English breakfast. Except I'm not doing the black pudding. Okay, that's staying. You guys can have that one. If if they make vegan black pudding, I don't want it. All right, maybe I'll I'll try it as an experiment or something, but and but it's all done now. The sausages, the bacon, the beans, and the potatoes. Yeah, at least throw some beans on the on the potatoes there. If anything needs the needs the beans and sauce, it's those dang potatoes. The potatoes are not mashed; they are boiled because it's a vegan meal, and that is the end. You can. <laughs> Hey, I don't know. I don't know who told you this, but you can you can mash potatoes. It won't unveganize them. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where you get your information from. Product of a vegan meal. <laughs> Just throw some some of that marge in there, or whatever. I don't know if the if the marge or she gets is vegan, but right. So the taste test. Let's just. I feel like Lee's gonna not be that good of a sport with this. Well, let's taste it. Just tastes like a vegan. Oh, actually, oh, actually, we're not being real. Actually, like meat. Oh, okay, it actually does taste really nice. Bacon, now you know that bacon, like normally a little bit salty. No salt at all. Sausages are nice as well. So yeah, I actually, you know, think it's a good one. Well, good one. I feel like he's like, man, I just wish I could have had these potatoes mashed. But other than that, <laughs> Lee turns vegan. You know, it's funny. Uh, bef like, even like before I went vegan, I was just like having stuff like this because obviously Jamie already was, and I've never had a problem with vegan alternatives things anyway. Um, it's like even if you're not vegan and you go to have like some of these alternative stuff, I found even before I went vegan, um, I found like, oh, actually, this is really nice because I'm not worried about something really gross being in it or happening or whatever. Like, you know, have you ever been, <laughs> I, I haven't had it in like eight years now or something, but like you ever been like eating chicken or whatever and then just something gross happens with it and you're like, I'm done. Not to be Amberlynn or anything, but like, like what the, I don't know what that was, but now I'm done. And now with this, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, that's one that's one thing I remember noting early on is like, oh, this is it's just made out of soybeans and protein from peas or something. Thumbs up. Rightly says it was nice, so hopefully it is. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up please do. If you want to leave a comment or the rest okay, of the... So, well, that I, I I hope that the comments are nice. What's that? Oh, for um, oh, that's a logo thing for being a member. Wish I was a vegan so I could eat this meal. Hilarious, the mango. Oh look, evil Kate Till. Always a bright moment of the day when Kate's cooking. Look at you. Look at you. You're a celebrity. Twenty nine likes on a Kate's cooking comment. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I for one really appreciate her making the vegan stuff. I mean. <laughs> It's not, not the one I would trust number Whoa, one guys. for this type of thing to Whoa. give vegan food <laughs> a good really. name, but thank you so much. She proves Stay that it's easy. Just subscribed. Shag. Don't ask Kay about her favorite Iron Madden song. She just likes the shirt below. Yeah, I know she doesn't like the. Uh, she doesn't actually like the band. She just likes the shirts. I mean, who can blame her though? Have you actually have you have you seen a lot of Iron Maiden shirts? They're always so fucking cool. Um, I remember the couple. I think I've. Seen 
seen them twice. And the merch that they actually have available at the shows is always so cool, but it's also very expensive because they know that it's really fucking cool shirts. But uh, there's one more. Most recent upload, Vegan Spaghetti Carbonara. Now, this one I'm a little concerned about because that sounds complicated. Hopefully it's just like a package of it or something, right? Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing a... What's that, um... Vegan. Number of the Beast shirt. Right, now, first I'm cutting up the bacon. Oh, she's getting she's getting double use out of this bacon. She said, what am I going to let this rot in the fridge? No way. Uh, now, carbonara, it's like a spaghetti with like a creamy bacon sauce, right? There's like eggs involved. For the carbonara. Now, see, now I'm worried. Of a vegan carbonara that gives the... Snipping up of the bacon like that? Meat. I feel like you could have cooked the bacon and then just gone like this after it was done to crumble it up, but you do you, you do you. It's not meat, but it is. I, you know, I feel like if you were making it with regular bacon, you wouldn't have sat there and snipped the slices of bacon raw, but whatever, do what you got to do. Trust and now it really looks like meat. dog treats, yeah. Because it's bacon, but it's vegan bacon. Them up. Oh, okay, now you're just getting lazy. I'm gonna put it all up. I have got some. Well, it said I need to use. I, I'm telling you, you could just cook it and then go like this. Just and it'll it'll break up. <laughs> uh, the vegetable oil in the pan, but I've used olive oil, which is not bad, I guess. I thought it, we think it's. I thought I thought vegans had to have olive oil, so. It's, oh yeah, oh they're vegan, so I can't use a vegetable oil. That's what you thought, Kay? The vegans can't have vegetable oil. <laughs> that's 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 the that's the logic between behind using some olive oil. I gotta say, olive oil uh, it tends to um, burn at a much lower temperature, so I, I I wouldn't it wouldn't be my first choice for cooking up some bacon. To be honest with you, I think it'll turn out fine, but yeah, it does have a lower burning temp. So oh, there's olive oil in my pan. And bacon, mm. just cutting it up randomly. Randomly. <laughs> ah, done. So now I'm just going to get a spatula. And, uh, you're expecting these to separate now? And spread that all out. And these are called Oggs. Oh my god, where are you putting me? I'm telling you right now, this was the wrong choice. Because you know what that is? <sighs> That is the 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 water left over from making chickpeas. You cannot you can't cook those up in a pan. That's just that's just bean juice. You need like uh you probably need some like uh vegan egg by follow your heart or like uh just egg or something. Yeah, this it's for baking, yeah. And it's not even that Whoa. great of a well, baking yeah. option in my experience. <laughs> Excuse me. Interesting how this turns out, though. She's going to fry up water that chickpeas have soaked in and is expecting it to make a nice sauce, unfortunately. They are called ogs, which in turn is like vegan eggs. <laughs> oh. you, can't, you can't go making an omelet with this or anything, though. Oh, it's like... It's just water, it's just juice, it's just bean juice. And I've got, you can see oh, the bacon God. and the oggs. Now you're boiling, now you're boiling the raw vegan bacon <laughs> in chickpea juice. So sprinkle a little bit of salt. Yeah, a little salt in there. A bit more. And a little bit more. So stir them in. All you had to do was just get a little container of the vegan egg powder. You would have been good to go. And keeps. First of all, the sauce of carbonara includes egg, doesn't it? Even if she was, ma if even if she was making regular carbonara, wouldn't she just be throwing an egg into a hot pan at this point and scrambling it? I don't think it includes scrambled egg. I think it's just in the sauce, right? 
stirring them in. So this was this was doomed from the start because even if this wasn't vegan, she would just be frying an omelet right now. <laughs> And I'm also going to cut some vegan sausages. Ew. Now, now you're making it weird because you're squeezing it out. To give it some <laughs> form of meat. Oh yeah, some form of meat, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll put the sausages in. Anything with tempered eggs not super easy. Oh yeah, so it's kind of like a like like a like the hollandaise situation, right? Like you're not actually like cooking it. You're just kind of like working it in and heating it up. And now everything wants to get rid of all the vegan stuff she bought. Yeah, thank goodness. What else can I do to get rid of this garbage? Getting done. Oh yeah, everything's getting done. So if everything's getting done, but you just added raw sausage in. Done. Why'd you do that so late in the game here? And now it's time. This look, it's still goopy. The sausage has got a brown. For the sauce, which is. Oh wow! She pulled up some. Was it Califia? Well, it's Califia. Um, um, oh, oh, oh. Mm, Calif Califia. Califia. I think they want it to be pronounced. Uh, oh. Why do? Why are the, that's that's one thing I got against the vegan brands. Califia. Dea. Oh, I can't even say it. <laughs> What's with these names? Oh, old man. Just fucking get four in it. She <laughs> can't say fucking almond. It's, well, it's om, 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 Just om. read it like it said, like, like, to sound it out. My God, Kay. Oh, I can't even say it. Om you can say almond. That would be fine. You could say almond if you want to. Almond. Oh, old man. Just fucking get four in it. it why is oh. he so mad, first of all? <laughs> my almond, so... Lee, you're gonna get your plate, my god. Oh wait, was that vanilla? Oh my god, it is! No! Oh my god, she's using vanilla. It's probably not even unsweetened, either. Oh, oh, mm. It's probably sweetened vanilla milk. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I can't even god, say it. I said this wasn't bad enough with the fucking raw sausage chunks in the, uh... <laughs> the bean juice. Oh, old man. Just fucking get four in it. Why oh, is he so my, mean? Almond, so, uh, okay, almond I, I feel like I'm about to pass out. Oh my word. <laughs> this, is, this is fucking Mr. Krabs with the uh, radial blur effect. <laughs> right. Hold on. I don't want to put too much in that at all. This is this. It's the, I feel like this right now. <laughs> I'm losing it. It wants to get covered in it. Um, oh, good. <laughs> fucking got, vanilla. <laughs> vanilla raw sausage. I to say, I've got some spaghetti cooking. Because I think... Oh, good. You got some spaghetti going already? I would have figured you'd just take the dry spaghetti and just throw it on top at this point. On the video I saw, the, the spaghetti was underneath, the pan's gone cold, gone cold. Turn it up much. Lee be like, just tastes like bean water, oh, <laughs> raw soy chunks and vanilla sweet and almond milk. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, the, the video I saw was the spaghetti was on the bottom and the sauce well the, the meat and the sauce was on top but she did put some spaghetti on top but i don't understand okay, what okay where's the sauce for before anyway so i'm just let this cover up i think that's enough for that the sausage is still soft so I can it's throw still goop it in that. yeah it's also annoying me that she's not pushing this bacon back into the pan Let's just start evaporating soon, so evaporating. more of that evaporates, the more I can put in. Oh yeah, load that up with vanilla milk. Uh, now it's time to put... <laughs> we still, you're cutting mushrooms for this? The mushy rolls Now? Again. You know how long mushrooms so take I'm to gonna... cook? It's too late. It's too late to add raw mushrooms. And I'm going to put them into the carbonara while the 
Spaghetti okay. is... I haven't got a spaghetti name, have I? But uh, I have to think of one. So that, that is them, the mushrooms. I'm going to cut them, well, finish cutting them up. Okay. Put them in the carbonara sauce okay. and, well, hopefully it turns out like hers did. Yep, just... it'll turn out just like theirs. Okay, come on now. What is this? What is this for a baby? Why'd you cut it up? <laughs> Who's this for? Italians, look away. Look away. Are you kidding me? Spaghetti. What is that? <laughs> what is that, gravy? And there's the sauce. Here. No! Oh! <laughs> Taste test, and I'm doing the taste test. Not really. Oh, really? Lee's Lee's not having this one. <laughs> Looking forward to it because I know what I'm. I'm oh, gonna love tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like breakfast. Oh, bacon! Oh, bacon and milk. <laughs> what happened? Did it attack you? Actually, it doesn't taste bad. Apart from that sharp. Sharp shock of bacon. What's, 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 what, the bacon's too strong? I'm so confused. But yeah, the milk has actually evaporated. I never would have thought that would be the problem. So it tastes like that, actually. <laughs> it's vanilla. It's fucking like vanilla. Like, it's a secret. I don't like ba vegan bacon anyway. And I'm not keen on normal bacon. Well, maybe if you if you even attempted to cook it correctly, it'd be different. But okay, I've, I've, I understand. That's beside the point. So it's it, like I said, it, it was not bad. It was really, it, it was you know it's acceptable for a meal. So there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. Oh my god! Can't wait to see the comments on this. <laughs> of all the things, of all the things to absolutely shock her, the the bacon, the pieces of bacon, just what are they too spicy? I don't know, like. I really hope that I find someone complaining about the vanilla. I almost, I probably would have missed that. He should respect his mother. Angry faces. How is no one? How is no one mentioning all of the things wrong with this? Do they not know? Does he know? Do they not know? I'm, so there was so many things wrong. Tell her. I'm not gonna be the one to tell her. I feel like she'd be upset. I'm I'm truly not seeing anyone mention it. Oh, vanilla almond was a pro move cape. Very innovative. Nice. Get her a show on Netflix. No thanks, says Gay. Uh yeah, so not nearly enough people saying like, why did you use vanilla milk in this recipe? And then also not enough people mentioning that um the aquafaba is not a replacement for egg in this recipe it's only for baking and it even has limited <laughs> uses in that hey that first one uh the the breakfast worked out fine all she was fry up some vegan sausage and bacon and then have a potato on the side with some some breakfast beans but this one very unfortunate very unfortunate <laughs> well i'll have to try it now probably not 